What is up, YouTube? HPJ here, and good afternoon to you all. Um, it's time to play in. It's time to flow and wander in the breeze. As we're going to be taking a look at my no extra deck build full full of wanderies. And Flanderies is an awesome art type. It's yet again, Konami gives us these big birds and all these birdies, and they start topping and they start doing extremely well. When we thought some more, I mean, when we thought some more ban was going to hurt Avion, Konami said, no, we're just stopping you from doing all the special summon shenanigans. Now we're going to make normal summon some more. I mean, we'll summon off of Avion. Summon Avion. But don't worry, we got an archetype specifically built for normal summons. Enter the Full Wanderings, which is an awesome archetype. And I, it's funny because um, when Master Ghoul was announcing the No Extra Deck uh, challenge, this also came out around the time the, 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 the update happened. So we got basically a Tier 0 deck, another Tier 0 deck in the game being Tier 0. And I love me some flow. Flow is an awesome art type. Because yes, it's birds. You know, I love my birds. And it it's ultimately one of those things that it just however you built it, flow is still gonna be really, really good. And God, I wanna try to some more build of it in TCG IRL. I'll take a look at it. But anyway, Let's take a look at this version of Flow that I, I played for the event. So I don't have any replays. I just want you guys to know that now because some of my stuff um, didn't get saved because I didn't check my re my uh, replays from earlier on. And the event also ended, so I couldn't do anything today of the event because I had other obligations. Unfortunately, so uh, let's just go through the list. We'll start off with our monsters. We got three copies of Flawanderies and Ravina, three copies of Eaglin, two copies of Impin, one copy of, of Stream, and one copy of Toucan. Then we have the Harpy Ladies making an appearance in this deck. We have a copy of Hoppy Dutsa and Hoppy Hobbis. We have uh, Ryza, the Mega Monarch, and then we have Ms. Valley Apex Avian. And the barrier statue of Stormwind to round out all of our winged beasts. And then for our hand traps of choice, we have, well, Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. For the spell cards, we got the three copies of Flawanderies and the Magnificent Map. We have two copies of Flawanderies and the Unexplored Winds. Then we have three copies of Pot of Duality, three copies of Dimensional Fissure, three copies of Book of Noon, one copy of Harpy's Feather Duster, and one copy of Terraforming. For the trap cards, we have three copies of Infinity and Hermione, two copies of Harpy's Feather Storm, and one copy of Flawanderies in the Dreaming Town. Actually, I love the OCG name of this card, which is Flawanderies in the City of Dreams. Yes, I think that was a reference to New York, actually, because uh, New York is also referred to as the City of Dreams. I think it may be a, a reference to the City of Lights, maybe, um, uh, was it Nevada, or the City of Angels, L.A., because Los Angeles means the Angels. All right, with that, all that said and done, let's take a look at this. So, Flawanderies, in terms of everything that it has going for it, I think it's pretty simple to, to just let you know. We have our level 4 lower searcher. We have our level 5 or higher, no, level 7 or higher searcher. We have our boss monster of the Flawanderies, which has the ability to stop cards as, when they're normal summon. No, when they're special summon, as long as he's sure he's summon. And it has the ability to have the attack of monsters during the battle phase. We have our banisher from in the for the grave. We have our retrieval from the banished. We got a bird that likes to remove stuff from the field in the graveyard and send them back into the deck. What are in the hand? We have our negator. We have the hoppy that likes to dance and give you additional normal summons. We have the harpy that likes to return cards to the hand on her normal summon and allows you to search for the barrier statue that represents everyone who is wind and says no to those cards who are not wind. And we got everybody's most popular love, Cantrap. Uh, I think Vic Railer is also there too, in fact. 
Um, for the spell cards, we got, of course, the built spell doing its thing of additional normal summons, being able to give you so much utility. It is ridiculous. Watch out for Ghost Ogre in Snow Rabbit, um, because blowing up this card will screw up your plays tremendously. I actually learned that from, um, watching a stream yesterday in discussion on the blow. Um, the Flawanderies is the Unexplored Winds. This is a really good utility card for tributing as well. And some draw power, too. And hand correction. Powder Duality to help you expand your draw the horizon. Um, Dimensional Fissure to keep out hand traps so that they won't be a problem to you. I'm looking at you, a bag veiler, and you two ghost over. Um, then Book of Moon to put things face down so they won't be in trouble. Uh, for your effects and for you on the field. Hot before the dust there to remove spells uh, from the field and terraforming to search for our magnificent map. Then we have a uh, Cyber Dragon or well Cyber Dragon Infinity saying no to our opponent's monster effects and make an and easy card to drop from your hand when you're not going first. So you disrupt your opponent's game. Yeah, Harpy's feathers in their storm and negating all of those nasty monster effects, especially when you start using your Harpy monsters. Cause that's also a good reason why they're here too. And then its ability to get your Harpy's feather duster. I don't think most people are going to destroy this while they destroy the trap card though. But if they do, get a duster for free. And then the City of Dreams, which is exceptionally well and does really good with the combo game because damn. Getting off your opponent's shed is not too hard. So I actually even like the normal trap that forces your opponent to have to normal summon um, as well. I did not get a chance to play that card. I should have. It would have helped. At least. Like, it definitely would have helped. But, um, yeah, that is pretty much the Clifton's version of my deck. Because there really isn't that much to really talk about. We kind of know all the key pieces. We know all the key areas that they you know, flow and breeze in. And yeah, the Harpy engine, although I could have dealt without the Harpy Dancer, I mean the Harpy Harvest, the Dancer surely came in handy. Um, especially when I wanted to bounce back cards to get cards back onto the field and then put other cards um, in their place. So that way I can do more normal summons that But the only real thing that Harpy Harpist ever did was either she searched for Barrier Satchu or she searched for Dancer. And at that point, this could have easily been another Dancer or it could have been another Barrier Statue. Sorry, not the Dancer, but the Harpist. And I mean, Maxi's Call by the Graves and all of that could have easily been added into it. Just, you know, like swap cards in and out. Because you don't really have a set extra value. And now you could have just took out the Harpy Dancer and the Harpy Harpist. And Throw you in some Maxis or some of the and stuff like that. Like, that's the thing about it with uh, Master Duel, is even though there isn't a side deck, your trunk and the cards you you made, that is your your side deck. That is your setup for the game. And it's, it's pretty cool. But yeah, this is Flow, this is Wander, and we're definitely in the breeze. And with that said, that's pretty much it for. Just that profile. I definitely did want to get it out. It's probably one of my shorter ones because there really isn't an extra deck. The event forbidden you from making an extra deck and banned all the extra deck cards. And funny enough, uh, Pot of Extravagance and Pot of uh, yeah, Pot of Extravagance and Pot of Prosperity were both banned because they focused on the extra deck. So yeah, they definitely were out the window. Damn, was this deck to play around with? It still is. Uh, uh, currently, right now, at the time of this recording, I will be playing some Master Duel to get some more footage of a full built Flow Wanderings deck for Master Duel. And that will be a, a video I will give you definitely for the month of June, uh, the month of uh, April. I mean, August. I see. The month of August. See, I see you enjoy that. So with that said and done, thanks everyone for watching. Thank you all for coming. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel as it helps me out tremendously. Hit that notification bell so you guys are recording when I do upload more content. 
to the channel. You can also hit me up on social media. My social media links are in the description box below. So you guys want to interact with me on social media, you definitely can. And you can also hit me up on twitch.tv slash Joe, where I will be playing some of my favorite games on Twitch and shooting the show. So, with that said and done, thanks everybody for watching. I will catch you awesome people next time. HPJ, signing out. Take care.